Welcome back to the adventures of Boris, Storm King of House Durandon. I mean, look at this. Doesn't it look pretty great, huh? We've got mostly almost the entire thr Iron Throne at this stage. We do, however, have more men than the Iron Throne. So if you look at the 62,000 men versus uh, our very mighty 86,000, there is still some stuff left to do, but we are almost there. We've almost returned the Storm Kings back to power. I think, obviously, grabbing the rest of the Vale, grabbing the rest of the Crown's Islands, the Westlands, the richest sort of random provinces that we're missing would be fantastic. Let's ignore Dawn, and let's ignore the North. I don't think we're interested in them. The Stormlands traditionally don't have anything to do with it. I mean, realistically, the Vale or the, or the North or Dawn. They did have some land in the Rich, they did have some land in the Westlands, and they did have uh, some lands up in the Riverlands as well. In fact, I think they have the whole of the Riverlands. I'll have to go double-check the wiki on that one. But... Taking all of these does have some historical precedent. The Iron Islands, though, doesn't. The Iron Throne, uh, sorry, Dawn doesn't, and the North doesn't. So we'll ignore those for the most part, because we've got to, obviously, uh, I, I like keeping things dynamic. So what else have we got to do, then? We are at 31.7% moral authority, and this is the big goal. It's obviously restore, restore the Gods of the Storm faith. There's a lot of things we can do with that. We can incorporate some uh, Faith of the Seven worship into that to make it a much easier transition for the realm. We can uh, obviously set ourselves up as a god of this religion, and there's there's, so, there's a lot to do. But we're at 31.7%. We can win a few more wars, or we can focus on the conversion, or we can try and take, like, Baylor, for example. That would do it as well. I mean, realistically, we're in a stage now where we could fight the Iron Throne, and they wouldn't stand a goddamn chance. I mean, we can just drag and conquest what's left. Again, I don't really want, you know, the Dawn or, or the North or anything like that, so... I think we can... Oh, man, can we not push, push or de jure claims? Um, is there any sort of claims that we can... So we could go declare war, de jure claim on King's Landing. That would give us Baylor. Casterly Rock would obviously give us Casterly Rock, which is powerful. Um, or we take Rosby. Um, I mean, Rosby is a fairly sizable... It's one, two, three, four, five provinces... I think we should take King's Landing just because that will allow us to empower the faith. And then we can use the faith warriors, the, the, the holy orders, the, the militants, whatever we get out of that to push for reuniting the rest of it as well. I'm not sure if we own these provinces because they are at war with one another. They are independent. They're, they're sort of in their own scuffle and whether they'll come back under us or whether or not we will have to subjugate those guys. Same with like Bramsfort. I guess these boys are all independent, huh? So we could just say, hey, dragon conquest them. Um, why, do we, why are we not allowed to do that? Uh, any friend or dragon has the trait... Dragon does not. Oh, because the dragon is maimed, perhaps. Uh, it's wounded. Oh, maybe because it's wounded, then we can't do it. I don't know, but either way, we we'll wait for the dragon to heal. But so, the best part about dragon conquest is if you're significantly more powerful than them, you can declare war. They get a week to basically surrender, and they can just become your vassal without any sort of prestige loss, without any gold loss, without any anything like that. They just basically it's it's forced vassalization, right? Because to negotiate an annexation, huh? Um, the Castle of Paran Cross and the Kingdom of Storm is currently an amicable alliance. Are we? Really? Oh, maybe they should be part of our realm. I don't know. So this is something else. We actually got the mission to do this, but I just thought I'd kickstart before we dived in here. Acolyte Tristan spent many days demonstrating the proper procedure for the manufacture of the handling of the substance. We've now learned how to use wildfire. We started that yesterday's episode, if you remember, because the dragon was wounded. I was like, okay, maybe we should follow this a little bit and, and try and put it into application. It's a nice backup for if the dragon is permanently injured. Let's, or most likely dies, let's request a rank up. So this is also going to give us access to a little bit of gold. I don't think we need any gold. I think we want to keep the capital of the Storm's End, don't we? I think that's the most appropriate, even though King's Landing would be kind of good. I think holding King's Landing, like, uh, if, if we hold King's Landing, uh, what about, like, Harrenhal? I know somebody said Harrenhal might make a better capital, but Harrenhal is also cursed. I think King's Landing, Storm's End, uh, High Garden, maybe Castle Rock, maybe the Eerie or, or the, the, tw uh, the Twins, not the Twins. Um, what is it called? Oh, is it just called River Run? Yeah. So, taking all of those might also make for good. We've got two out of five, so it's, it's really... We'll, we'll, we'll wait and sort of see which province is better at the time when we when we come to actually having the ability to revoke those. Right, you want us to kill this man? Absolutely not. What what decisions do we have available to us? We might as well double-check that everything is in order. Hey, there we go. And who is this guy? The most devout? So, the, the septum has employed an alchemist. Um, I'll pretend not to be concerned about that one, huh? So, we can donate to the guild. Not going to do that. Make wildfire. We can do that one. So we're going to spend 100 gold, they're going to make us a meager wildfire, wildfire stockpile, which we can build up over time. So we can turn it from a meager one into a small one, small into medium, medium into large, and then large into, like, huge. Those we can deploy in combat. The more you've got, the more you can deploy, and the more frequently you can deploy it. Let's not worry about that for now, though. Uh, that, that's, that's for if we ever lose the dragon. Now, we're ill. Oh, we are ill. We've got fatigue, fever, and, of course, depression. So we do need to be very careful about whether or not our characters can drop down dead. P following a pox. Okay, it's gout. So he was clearly quite wrong on that one. Um, okay, 0.5 health is, is okay, but that's kind of annoying because we seek treatment. 
it wasn't... I don't know whether or not that affects, in hindsight, the quality of the treatment. I think it's purely random. Anyway, um, this guy told you to undress and kneel with your buttocks raised. That's enough. We don't need to read anymore. Thank you. I like to keep my monetization today. Successful treatment, health plus two. He's gouty again. Did he not have gout before? Yeah, because then he lost it. He had gouty balls, and then he castrated it, and now he's fine. Has it come back? I'm sorry, my liege. It's returned. Um, he lost something. I don't know what it was, though. Uh, how's minus two? That sucks, because unfortunately, we can't do much about that. It's, it's a permanent disease. It doesn't just disappear of its own accord, unfortunately. All right, so then we've also got old stones we could colonize. Oh, that could be cool. So old stone is all the way up here. Um, that's the original crown of the Sea Kings is located in old stone. So we could try and grab that in Sea Guard. Um, I mean, there's no reason not to. It's a thousand gold. We got, we got better things to spend that money on her. Huh? Can upgrade the castle of Durin's Point, which also wouldn't be too bad. I think we'll just we'll just sink it back into Storm's End. See if, see our house rule the Iron Throne. We're not going to do that, but we're just going to pick that so that uh, so that we don't lose prestige by not having an ambition. Hey, there we go. Okay, so let's see if we can uh, now apply that to why are we at war? Uh, the Rosby Bramsfort Vassalization War. Oh, so there. Oh, so the Lord. So one of the Iron Throne is just trying to grab our vassal. Okay, well that's fine. Obviously, we're going to fight House Frey here with their six thousand men. What the fuck do they? Th why are they trying to grab my vassal? Unless we're in alliance with Bram. I don't understand why we're in alliance with these people. That would also explain why we can't uh, dragon conquest them. Her probably outside of them being maimed or wounded or whatever. This is so strange. I'm not sure what's happened. This is again another another sort of side effect of the mega war. Again, cool system for the whole independence and, the, and a bit more of a dynamic realm structure. It sort of shows how in the Iron Thrones, uh, in the, in the Game of Thrones world, people would break away quite frequently. Like the Greyjoys, obviously being a, a a pretty obvious example there. Right, we are going to take a shit ton of attrition here. But you know what? I, don't, I just don't care. We've got 102,000 men. We don't need to worry about this shit anymore. We're good. We are absolutely fine. Right, you are done. Uh, confront her about a dishonest ways and let's put all these troops down. So how many men have we got at our maximum? Whoa, we've got like 122,000 men. I don't think anyone can stop us at this stage. Right, so what about you boys? Uh, you are under Harren Hall. I imagine these guys are our vassals because we can't act against them. Whereas Bram's we actually can declare war. We can Dragon Conquest them now. If we say yes, they should just surrender. Oh. Oh. Uh, you're great, so long my allegiance and take up arms. Yeah, of course, because Stormlander. Uh, however, the Trident, once a fucking game. Boris Dorana, we've had enough of your house's dominion over the Trident, so henceforth, I shall rule over an independent random river run. Um, that's ridiculous. That's three times they've done that now. Oh, my God. Really? So, whenever we declare war, she's just going to say, by the way, GTFO, and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, well, I mean, obviously, we can meet them all. We've got to be able to revoke the titles now, Surely. Because we're an independent realm on our own. We're not determined by the laws of the Iron Throne. So hopefully we can just revoke her shit. Yeah, that, that's fairly annoying that we would have to Dragon Conquest a single county. And then suddenly... Oh, well. Um, break into a laboratory. This is a horrible time for this, but that's okay. Let's go to Bram's Fort first and deal with this war. Um, whatever. Do do anything. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, people are joining them. Oh, God. Really? I think House Tully needs to be scorched. I think we need to kill every last Tully man, woman, and child, because this is nuts that they could cause this much fucking chaos. Wait. We failed in the uh, Hermetic Society event. <sighs> now we're in prison. There we go. It's only 300 gold. Well, I mean, I, uh, what? Shadow King who? Ninurta the second. We went all the way to a shy. Well, there's no wonder we were captured, you fool. Um... Lose 300 knowledge, yeah, I'll take it, whatever, thank you, I'm out. Hopefully we don't, well, yeah, we don't have to give him the gold then either. Um, or we do have to give him the gold. <laughs> you bullshit man. I wanted to get out as far as possible. It's, it's kind of rare that they do actually let you ransom them out, because obviously you become their enemies. Um, but hey, I mean, that's that's fine, that's fine, whatever, that's that's okay. I, it was a risk, it was a calculated risk. Good. Speaking of calculated risk, we now have to tidy up the entire bloody kingdom. Sure, deploy the dragon. Burn them all. I'm going to go crazy with this fucking dragon. I'm going to kill every every one of them are going to die. Because this is ridiculous. They can just keep doing this over and fucking over. Well, we did get a stockpile of wildfire. Maybe a little bit too late here. Huh? We killed also 9,000 men. We lost 6,000 our own though. So we've got to be, start being somewhat careful. Let's chase them down. Let's just keep the pressure on. We've got the dragon. So even if they do take the trade crossings or somehow recover all their morale or whatever. that We've got really enough to worry about. Also, we have them quite significantly as well there. Okay. Um... Keep just, just keep dropping the dragon. Just keep going. There you go. Gains depressed. Gains depressed. Gains wounded. That's fine. And they are done. Right. Okay. Um. I guess we just. I mean, how have Bramsfort not surrendered yet? Is probably the main question. Offer peace. All we've got to do. Let's finish off this war with uh, Bramsfort first, because that's bought the entirety of the bloody Iron Throne. 
Take those guys out. Where are their, where are their troops? Where are your troops, my friend? Um, let's check his vassals. Okay, so there they are. They are those those there. Those those 400 men. Okay. If we can deal with Bramsfort first, that gets the iron thrown out of our war, at which point we can uh, we can focus on dealing with River Run and scorching every goddamn fucking Tully, because I'm not every goddamn episode trying to put River Run back in line. I'm not I'm not doing it. I will brand their entire house traitors of the realm. There's not a value here. Uh, oh, this also counts as Bramsfort, huh? Okay, that's fine. Um, they have more than I thought. Right, we're at 86%. Let's go and finish off this siege down here, and that should be everything we need to go. There we go. Okay, so the Lord Paramount was murdered on the Lord of Dolls, but oh god. Stormlander, though. He's Stormlander, so we don't have to worry about too much. Okay. I feel like we're going to quickly start. We need, to, we need to be careful. I think we need to reform our religion and just get really fucking aggressive with things. Super high conversion rate. Super aggressive playstyle, like warfare, or go for go for the super aggressive sort of doctrines. Dracaris, burn them. Okay. Um, oh, I can't believe we've got to siege this one entirely to the ground. Are you joking? Try to bribe him, make him disappear. Sure, we'll just kill anybody off. We've got enough gold. Let me let me put it this way: we've got enough gold to not worry about any war because we can just buy a shit ton of of troops from anywhere that employ the golden company. Am I right? Uh, and that way we should be able to repel even the Iron Throne. Even if the Iron Throne, the Trident, and everybody all banded together against us, we should still be fine. The Battle of Bramsfoot is over. Thank you. Right, okay, so they are now ours. Now I'm going to kill every goddamn Tully idiot everywhere. Why did they leave my war? Where did my troops just go to? They're still... Oh my god, hang on. They're still in this war. Why did they suddenly disappear, though? We can now raise all of their troops. Oh, maybe because that was an external ram struggle. This is an internal ram struggle. So we can just move the troops ourselves. I have no idea. Um, I don't care about my laboratory. Please don't tell me about this. This guy wants King of the Westlands. If not, they may declare rebellion soon. Well, look, when we've got the Riverlands dealt with kind of nicely as well, then we will work on uh, tidying up the Westerlands as well. But we'll deal with the Riverlands. Put that under a Stormlander Vassal. That way the Reach is under a Stormlander Vassal. The Riverlands is under a Stormlander Vassal. Even if the Westerlands do go to war, they're not going to have enough backing to make it worth it. So uh, or we, we should be relatively safe from any sort of upstart, any plot, any big faction demands. Right, so. Merge those. We've got uh, 16,000 men unified under a go with 32 marshal who's flying a dragon. I think the Tullys are probably going to regret this ridiculous uprising. That's their entire army smashed in a single fell swoop. Okay, that works. Oh, they're moving over here. That's okay. Right, okay. Counter siege. There we go. Perfect. We're at minus 31%. I guess that's just taking more skill probably from where we've been distracted for a while. All right. Let him rot. I'm going to let my troops split up for a little bit so that we don't take an absurd amount of attrition. Why are my troops moving? I didn't tell you guys to move there. What do you think you're doing? Oh, well. Um, let's, let's, let's hang around sort of here. How many men is that we've got selected? 30,000 is probably a little bit one too many. Right, let's move up to this area. Everyone else can come back over to here. Maester's armor is useful. Morale of armies plus 10%. Not that we need it. I think we might have this one in the back, to be honest with you. All right. Um, I mean, we could try and chase some Tully troops down. It's not too many there. That's all right. We're, it's fine. Now we're in River Run. We've got the dragon. Just kill them all. We could also deploy the wildfire if we really want to, like, just burn down River Run entirely. Just completely scorch the earth with them. Kind of surprised River Run only have a, has a fort level of 9. Do they not have huge River Run Fortress? They don't have, like, their big moat or anything then. How strange. Okay. Uh, she's not here, but that is it. That's all it took. She's gone into hiding. We've won. Their capital is gone. Their armies are dealt with. Stand the troops down. I have some titles to revoke. Do we have revocation? We have medium ram authority. I don't know if we need high, but we, we can get that, so it doesn't matter. We might as well go for it as well. Uh, she will forfeit the trident. That's mine now. Goodbye. Let her rot. Right, so, can we also revoke River Run? Uh, yes, we can. Give me River Run. Let's also revoke... Uh, oh, man, we can't actually take River Run itself, though. Which does kind of suck a little bit. Um, what if we just... Get rid of her? I'm not saying execute, because that's tyranny, because she's already paid the price of her crimes. I'm just saying we get rid of her, you know? If she were to just happen to disappear... Oh, no, my dragon broke into the dungeon and ate a hole. What a, what a real shame. Rear point the old council. There we go. That, that's another mechanic that is kind of a little bit janky because sometimes it counts you firing them if you put in new councillors while there's the warfare, things like that. All right. Uh, Lord. Oh, yeah, please stand down. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot because we've got a, a Stormlander vassal on the reach. I kind of want to keep him there. I don't want him to be supplanted by Faith of the Seven. All right. So let's see what our realm looks like now after the Mega Wars over, after everything comes back together. Then we can sort of get an idea of what we actually do need to... So those were under the Iron Throne, I believe, because the Iron Throne was in conflict. They, uh... 
Yeah, because I guess they'd be part of the crown's land, huh? That's okay. Right, we're way over our vassal limit. So let's dish out some shit then. We've got the trident. Do you have any land in the trident? We have the bloody gate, which is up in uh, up in the Vale. Okay. I really want that, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we've got Delson's Gate. We need to take some land in the Riverlands before we can revoke the place. Now, they're in Seaguard. Lord, Lord Kermit of Seaguard, I'm going to revoke your titles. Okay, it's gone to full-blown rebellion. That's fine, because we can take Seaguard and we can establish a new uh, Stormlander vassal there, ideally. And then with that, we can make those guys the, the king of the uh, the Stormlands or whatever, or the, the, the Lord Paramount of the Stormlands, I guess. Right, everybody meet up in Pequodon. And then, these guys shouldn't take too long. Oh, wow, we're already going to assassinate her. Fantastic. Not sure what's going to happen to the Ram. I should have checked whether or not it was uh, Foreign Ram Inheritance. Who's that going to? Lord Paramount of the North. Are we about to lose the entirety of the Riverlands? I hope not. That would suck. I mean, we don't even lose Riverlands, so it's not a big deal. Uh, no, it's supposed to be rolling this. I mean... She doesn't have an heir, so it's going to go to this guy, and then he's he's a Stark. And then the Starks are going to have that, and then we've got to deal with the fucking Iron Throne again. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, cancel it. Just call her for trial. No, because she can't have kids. She's 45. So it's going to be Starks no matter what. The second she dies, it's going to be Stark. Unless we revoke her title. And I, okay, so let's, let's let her out of prison. Let's incite her to revolt. Let's r get rid of her title, because otherwise, you know, we're going we're gonna to lose control over this shit. Right. Um, release from prison. Chris, their opinion of us by 50s. Made no difference. Plot to incite revolt, 104%. I think this is a safer idea. That way we can also deal with, you know, whoever wants Riverrun can, can have bloody Riverrun. Right, get these guys down. It's ridiculous. Okay, round two. Okay, we've got their troops. Let's just immediately deploy the dragon. I did take a river crossing there, but equally as many men. There you go. Wounded, done, dealt with. I feel like they probably can't win. It just, just gives me a strange impression that these these sort of four provinces might not be able to take out all of this garbage that we've got right now. Like all of this. Yeah, it's not ideal. Okay, so, um, deploy the dragon again just immediately on Sea Guard. I mean, I feel, I feel like we need to rule with an iron fist a little bit. And what's the best way to do that besides burning everybody? Dracarys, good. Um, <laughs> this has a higher fort level than River Run. Oh, good. Well, we'll just sit around for a while. There's no one of value here, so where is he then? Uh, leading troops over there. So split these boys. Let's move half up to come and help with the sieges. You guys move back up there, and we'll send the 23k to go crush his armies. That should be it. I'm hoping that we can just kill their armies and be done with it, rather than having to chase them around or siege things down for a while. Stop this. You know you can't win. Just friggin' surrender rather than wasting everybody's time. Oh, the Lord Kermit Malastor have been slain, so now we've got to deal with whoever this is. Um, she's in hiding. Great. Fantastic. Okay. So we could also assault this one down too. Oh, we're at 99%. That's all it took. She might even surrender at this point. Fingers crossed, hopefully, if, you, if you're not... If there's not too much inconvenience. We could also rank up in the, uh, in the Alchemist Society there. We'll worry about that in a second. Okay, good. Enforce demands. Can we not revoke her title? Because she technically didn't rebel. Must be... She's immune to hostile actions. Why? She rebelled. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you serious? Forfeit Seaguard. Thank you. I'll take that one. Let her rot. Right, revoke title. Lordship of Seaguard. I actually do need Seaguard as well, though, pal. Like, I need... <laughs> I need just more than that, please. For the love of God, you're killing me. I just need one province in the freaking Riverlands, and we're good. Shit. Okay, um... <sighs> okay, come on, please. Just incite to revolt. Get her out of here. Go on. Go. Be free. I did start, obviously, the, re the revolt against uh, the, the House Tully, but not too many people want to back us on that one. What else can we do? What else can we do to keep this round together? Well, I think, first things first, let's hold a feast. Uh, that's not a bad idea. All my vassals will be there. Let's work on the religious aspect of things. Let's rank up a little bit. How are we doing in terms of our... Because you've got to remember, these wars that we're winning should normally give us more war score. But they're not. Why? Controls a large empire, 5%. One a major war, 15%. What, why is that crack claw point not settled? Oh, because it's a different faith? Oh, it's a different... I said temple. Oh, it just lacks the temple holding. Oh. Oh, well, if you told me that, pal, I'd have built that millions of years ago. What do you mean it was clearly there since since we captured North? Shut up. What do you know? Okay. Um, we'll build that temple then. How long is that going to take? Uh, two years time. We can more or less guarantee religious reformation. Weaving Town we have to uh, maybe put as a Stormlander vassal fucking house pickle juice. Traitors. Okay. You're sacked. Goodbye. Oh god. You're garbage too. Let's see if we can find a character of good learning that we can bring on board and have as a priest. And we'll just focus on the other holy site. So let's sort by learning. Let's go, um, I'm just going to say my religion. That's all we need. Um, he'll come to court. And I believe he's capable of mastermind scholar. He's actually a priest. 
Uh, I'll send this guy a gift as well. We'll try and get everybody on board. Uh, there you go. Invite to court. He's the Regent of the Reach. Okay, fine. That works out well for us. Spend lavishly on food. Yeah, let's go crazy. Let's go crazy with this feast. And of course, very few people are actually going to say yes, but the ones that do it is going to be a, a measurable vassal opinion increase, so I'm fine with that. You know what? There wasn't as many people saying no to us as I imagined. Okay. So when those two turn up, there we go. Thank you very much. We'll wait for both to turn up just in case we can't put one of them on the council. We can't put either on the council. For fuck's sake, they have to be... No. I was going to say they don't have to even be learning, because look at this. We've got a flamboyant schema. What determines whether or not someone can be our priest then? Because this just seems to be random fucking people. Okay, uh, shall I start going for people who don't have an education in... Okay, so this guy's literally a priest. Priest of Amberley. 18, right, get to court. If he can't be my priest, if this priest can't be my priest, something is horribly wrong. Winter is coming to an end. Good. So that means we can fight ridiculous wars and I can have massive doom stacks and not have to worry about attrition. Welcome to my feast. All right, there we go. That's what we're looking for. So proselytize weeping town. Uh, we can't demand, obviously, religious conversions or anything because we're unreformed. But... When we've got that, we should definitely use it with this guy, because the Dragon Rider obviously gives Vassal Opinion or Fear or something like that, but Vassal Opinion plus 10. It's probably the only thing keeping the round together is this bloody dragon. Right, I'm not colonizing all stones. It's too much money. I'd rather keep it. So we are over our Vassal Limit 2. That's because we control three of the four kingdoms. Um, we also have, oh, well, I guess the Stormlands is an empire level top, but we have the Trident, the, the Westlands, and the Crownlands. None of which I particularly want to give away. I mean, this is not du jour anything, is it? Oh, it is du jour. Shit. I thought it was titular. I guess it's because it's normally Iron Throne. Okay, so we do need to give this one away as well, unfortunately. So to put it into perspective, we can't go to war because otherwise rebellious vassals can just break away. As that is just these, as there are no other high kingdoms, we might have to worry about that anymore because I'm not sure dukes, whether dukes would or can break away from things. We could just claim the Iron Throne and then make Dawn and the North independent. I don't think that's such a bad idea. I don't think that's a bad idea, because that would give us everything we want in one fell swoop. This might be a horrible idea. Okay, cancel the feast. That's fine. Sorry, I should have waited for the feast to finish first, but it's just occurred to me. Okay, so of course, Lorenzo Martel has chosen to worship those guys. Not much of a shocker there. I mean, I was kind of expecting... Where are my troops? Excuse me. Excuse me, my my young dragon. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, for fuck's sake! Auto stop! Auto stop! Those ninety four plots for Christ's sake! Two point one gold. Okay, so we can imprison these boys. Wait, what are you? What are you in prison for, Lord of Old Town? What are you in prison for? He's not in my prison. Why can I ransom him out then? He's not in my prison. He's not my prisoner. Uh, oh, he is my prisoner. Prison by me. Okay, I want to revoke your titles, but I guess we can't because we're in war. Oh, because he's a vassal. It's a, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we need mercenaries because I. For some reason, don't have any troops. Uh, that's okay. It's probably it's probably all the war and keep putting them down in enemy territory stuff. We'll just take, I think, 5,000. And you know what? We'll take a little bit more than that. We can afford it. Right, we'll take 8,000 men. We'll put Boris on the center. We'll put Rogar and my good friend Ognos. Rogar and Ognos. <laughs> They're Dark Souls bosses, right? Okay. Let him rot. Okay, R Rogar's left. It's because he heard me call him uh, Ernstein and Smau. Right, we're good. So with the dragon... I think we just roll up in King's Landing and scorch the fucker. And that, that is, from what I've learned, the easiest way to get yourself the King of the Iron Throne. It's just the easy way. You just turn up and you burn King's Landing to the ground, and that's apparently all you need. You don't need a claim or anything. Well, I mean, you know, technically she had a claim, but... <clears throat> okay, right. Deploy the dragon. Get out of here. Dracaris, we've got a very, I mean, a very loose claim. But what's our claim? We've got claim on the Iron Throne because we're a dragon rider. Yeah, that doesn't seem entirely right, huh? They're sieging very quickly, and they're going to try and grab as much war score as possible here. But, of course, we can just grab the Iron Throne and then scorch his armies. Then that's probably just going to give us everything we've ever needed. Because the Red Keep, funnily enough, counts for a fair amount of war score. Do you want to deal with their armies first? It's probably not a bad idea. Um, I owe you nothing. We'll talk about you later. Where are they? Oh, this is good. So are we going to catch them? Are they going to catch us 12 or 7, 12? Oh, I'd rather them fight us. They are going to fight us. So we're just, we just won't interrupt things here. Because if we stop moving, they might stop moving. There we go. Stop. Don't deploy the dragon yet. Wait for those other troops to reinforce. When are they going to get here? Um, 19th. Wait. Wait. Steadle. Stop. All right. Deploy the dragon. Dracarys. Fool. Please don't be wound. Please don't be maim. We're fine. Their morale is completely destroyed by that. All it took was one, one little bit of dragon fire. Cowards. All right. 10,000 men dead, 3,000 men dead. Obviously, that's not ideal because we have more troops than hell. They have more troops than us. Where are they going to? Byford, 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 Byford. Uh, that's fine. Everybody's going to Byford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're already halfway there, so they're going to actually be retreating into us, which is fantastic news. Okay. They're retreating into us. 
we have more or less full morale. We have 90. We're going to have more or less full morale by the time they get here. Uh, we're probably going to have full morale by the time. Okay, stop. They are not, though. Now we go more dragon. Dracaris, 5% chance of maiming. So, of course, we're going to do this as much as possible, especially when they outnumber us by this many. It's going to put them into an instant retreat. If we had, like, Pursuer now, this is where it would pay off massively because we kill so many of the troops each one of these skirmishes. Right, chase him down. This is where I also would, like, Organizer. That would be fantastic. Oh, shit, where did they come from? Deploy the dragon. Might hire some more mercenaries. It's not like we haven't got the money for it. Okay, this is going to be a close one, I think. Oh, God, careful. There's 18,000 men over there. D take shout out to the 600 men for holding their own. Oh, God, this is going to be very close. When are they coming over? I mean, they're coming in at half morale, and they're taking a river crossing, which is impressive stuff. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, we're taking a river crossing into them because we're movement locked halfway there. That doesn't seem fair that after a skirmish, you wouldn't be able to stop. Well, that's my only complaint about movement lock because now we're forced into this battle, and obviously I don't want to really fight this, but hey, we're in it now. Dragon might be able to break the morale, so they immediately go into retreat. Uh, they have not, but they might as well have. Yeah, they they, they basically did. Okay, uh, you want to join me? Absolutely not. No, thank you. We have no room in the court. Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. 12% more score. Okay, we need to bring in more troops. This sucks. Um, goodbye, treasury. <laughs> Where are my men? Ah, oh, hang on. Vassals. 38,000 men all of a sudden. I don't know why we didn't have access to that a minute ago. I don't know what the fuck has changed. But that's okay. Now we have, we, now we have armies. Good. No longer fighting the Iron Throne with a handful of mercenaries. We're, we're absolutely fine. That was some good guerrilla warfare, though. I feel like we are very much... Not for you. Not for you. Please, please, please don't get into rallying yet. We'll be dealing with this later on, okay? They're unhappy because we own four kingdom level tiles. That's fine. Or technically four kingdoms. That's okay. That's an acceptable thing to complain about. I, I don't blame you. You are, you are a smart and sensible boy for being concerned about the administrative problems that might cause. But also, we'll deal with it in a minute. Don't worry, okay? We'll, we'll assuage any doubts. Let's, should, we just, should we just move straight to the Iron Throne? Just fucking just bamboozle everyone over there. Okay. I'm not going to pay attention to skirmishes along the way or battles along the way. It doesn't matter, realistically. Oh, no. We're going to lose a couple hundred troops here and there. Okay, we lost 600 men. Oh, no. Right. Everybody pile on the Iron Throne. The dragon counts for, I would say, roughly about 100,000 men, so we're fine. King of the Westlands, nah. You're fine. You're, you are okay, my friend. Don't worry about it. You'll be rewarded in the next life. Okay, that's looking a little better. We've got 20,000. There's House Martel sitting around just on their fleet. They haven't dropped any troops off. We've got 34,000 the Iron Throne men there. I think we need to maybe anticipate things. Or could we use the dragon to take out the Iron Throne? Risky. So they've got 700 defenders. Assault it down. Oh, we touched the whole of the Iron Throne. Excellent. Good. Having the family put in the dungeon then. And now we can just go through province by province. Yeah, this is great. Okay, that was, that was a good plan. Then we'll hunt their troops. So where are they heading to? Pain Hall. Please don't do that. Uh, you know what? You guys can stand down as well. Right. Merge. And then we wait one more day. Oh, nothing. Assault this one down. Release all prisoners. 96%. Oh my god. We, we might have this. We might not actually need to counter siege or go after his troops. Is that enough? 100%. We're done. The Iron Throne has capitulated. Long live the king. I've seized in the kingdom of the Kevin Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne. Whatever I just said. You've also captured the treasury of the deposed Lord Jeremy Ashford of Orkmont. Where you belong. We have seen our house of the Iron Throne forfeit Brimstone. They are indeed superspicious. He will not serve in the king's arm. Bring me his head. Change fear by five. 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 I want all their heads on pikes. Um, I should judge his family justly. Dawn. Send her to the dungeon. She will forfeit Dawn. Leave her be. What about this guy? Tyrosh disputed lands. <laughs> uh, Burkina Faso. Leave him be. Uh, you will forfeit the veil. Tyranny by five. I'll be taking that one. Remove it from his position of high septum. Good. What has that done for us? Uh, have her head. Okay, she's done nothing wrong. I find your judgment half, and as such, my battle will no longer acknowledge your dominion over Brimstone. It's a declaration of war. You and what army? 4,000 men. Pff, we'll see about that one, my friend. Long live the king. Lord Commander Castor Ulla, step forward. In the throne room, Lord Commander Caswold Ola kneels before him and takes up his new duty of leading the Kinsguard. Barons are new to protect you from those who may harm you. Thank you. Let's hope he serves us well. We've got to set up the Kingsguard, and then we've got to find just punishment for everybody. Reachman, Westerman, Stone Dornish. Uh, who's got the highest personal combat? You'll do. Uh, step forward. My house needs me more than the round. Fuck you. Right. Fear minus two. We're going to have to release all these people. What, what else? Might oh, we could just chuck them in the dungeon for free, I guess. Uh, throw them in the dungeon. Throw them in the dungeon. Well... We don't want the Iron Throne. The Iron Throne is stupid and I hate it. Uh, Lord Morton Grandison has recommended Sir Rolf be named a member of the King's Guard. 
I bid you seek someone more worthy. Okay, sure. Put the troops down. The Iron Throne, everybody. The North, you gain your independence because that's just what that's just what new kings of the Iron Throne do, unfortunately. Uh, you Irons can stay where you are. We'll deal with you later. Let's let everybody come back under the fold of the Iron Throne. Okay, justice will be done. Sorry. Oh, I just noticed what we're doing when we say that. Your Grace, rather than face your judgment with dignity and honor, Donald Sloan tried to flee the round. We captured him and is now faced the block. Justice will be done. Wiped out my family. Minus 30. Goodbye. Let him rot. I think we just... Did we just commit a genocide? That was bad. King of Tyrosh, we don't want this shit. I'm, right, it's my turn to tidy up the round now. Grant independence, get the hell out of here. Right, goodbye, Tyrosh. What is this nonsense? Villabosh, we don't want this shit. It's putting us over our vassal limit. It's nothing to do with the Iron Throne. That's not, that's not us, okay? Dawn, go free. Go free. We're not here to be the lords of the Iron Throne. Goodbye, Dawn. Okay, send him, send him. Why is she not more happy about that? Are you fucking kidding me? We just gave you Dornish independence. Plus 14 opinion. Get out of here. Probably because we did slay hundreds of Dornish men. How Stark? Uh, get out of here. Be gone. That looks a lot better. And then, hopefully, this... We, can we not just destroy the Iron Throne and make our own Empire level type with Blackjack and Hookers? I'm sure someone to talk about it. Sure. Uh, when's the round coming together, though? This is the important part. Uh, do we... Do we just want to wait? Do we just want to... There we go. Nice. Okay, bring the greatest knights in the realm. Andrew Packwoodon. Thank you. He's on board. Right, so now... There we go. Rear point the old council. Look at this. This is pretty good, huh? And this is what I wanted to build, was this central power... Um, not the central powers, that's something very different. We've got the Vale, we've got the Riverlands, we've got the Westerlands, the Reach, Storms, Storms End, and of course, the Crownlands there as well. We've got the Kingdom of the Stormlands, um, because I guess we're technically not the Empire of the Stormlands, we're the Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne now. I feel like we, can we not destroy that? That kind of sucks, I don't want to call it the Iron Throne. How about the Storm Throne? Huh? I think that's a lot better. No longer will there be a Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne. There is just the Storm Throne ruled by the Storm God. Speaking of which, why the fuck can we not reform the religion now? Are you kidding me? Scepter Baelor. I can't do anything about that. I thought I removed him from his seat of power and now suddenly he's back. Scepter Baelor. But we can revoke it and just immediately reform the religion. Um... What do we want to do then? Or we wait a year for the Temple and Cracklaw point to be built. But then it's still under a, a vassal of a different... I don't think that's going to be enough. I think we have to revoke Valor and, and take the take the tyranny. Give me that. Should I accept your offer? Get out of here. Thank you. Set to Valor as ours. We appoint a new vassal. There we go. And? 47... Are you shitting me? Um, so we've got Valor. We've got Stone Dance. We've got Storm's End. We need Weeping Town. North Cracklaw Point. We would be able to reform it if it wasn't for that goddamn cursed bloodline we made. We're so close to being the God King. Win the war. Okay, so we need to deal with the war with Brimstone, but I don't know why, seeing as they're technically not going to be our vassal anymore anyway. Can we just white piece them out? Just say, get out of here. Just surrender. Let them have... No, because it gives us uh, fear minus 20, and they implement autonomous vassals, which is horrible. That would be a, just a terrible idea. Right. Raise the troops. We've got a lot of troops now. Holy shit. We also need to deal with this horrible, horrible vassal limit. There's not a lot I can do about that, because we still only have the King's Gate, the Red Keep, the Bloody Gate, Dalston Keep. What am I supposed... Oh, we can give away the Veil, though. Because that... Uh... Okay, we can actually deal with the Vale, because that, that's a county. It's not just... I always thought the Bloody Gate was just a castle. Um, right. Load filters. So, so reset all. Load filters. Let's go slot two. or And then sort by... What do you think? Marshal. Somebody who can keep control of the Vale. Grant land title. We can give him the Bloody Gate. And then we go to the guy on the Bloody Gate. What do you mean that didn't... Okay, there we go. Uh, Kingdom of the Vale. Enjoy, my friend. Lord Paramount Michael of Drox Castle. That is an incredible house name. There we go. The, the vassal map mode is a little messy. There's not much we can do about that. Centuries of, of damage caused by, you know, horrible mismanagement of the Iron Throne. That's the veiled out with. Right, so now we've got to deal with, uh, or unless we can shift some vassals around here. What's it with a new keep? They're under the Golden Tooth. Where the fuck is the Golden Tooth? Oh, they're in the Riverlands. That's annoying. Willow Wood, what are they doing? So there, oh, we could shuffle those under the veil, but that re reduces the power in the, in the Riverlands. God damn. We need to revoke something in the Riverlands, like, basically right now. That would be fantastic. Um, we'll work on that next. Then we've got to work on stability. But I'm going to get a lot of the sweeping round decisions done right now. Let me put the troops down and just rehire them with a, uh, like, a rally point over here. There we go. 
Your enemies think they're safe on the other side of Rock and Mortar. Dracarys, hopefully this will be the last war we have to fight for quite some time. I have his family put in the dungeon. Only 36%. Are you shitting me? Oh, because he's got 4,000 men nearby. Ooh, careful. Right, okay. We'll wipe these ones out. And then that should be... That should give us plenty of leeway to sit around and I'll, I'll reorganize the realm in between episodes. I'm not, I'm not going to subject you to me trying to sort of transfer vassal titles or look around and see what we can tidy up here and there. There we go. We didn't even need to fight that wall. That was unnecessary. Thank you very much. We didn't even want Brimstone. So the second we take it from these guys, I'm going to grant them independence. There you go. Uh, then I'm going to ransom him out. Oh, he can't afford it. Well, you can be independent when you can afford it. How about that? Good. I feel the ambition to win a war. I'm just going to put these troops down. You know what? I don't give a mother flip. Who cares if we lose 20? Look at our troop count. 200 and, well, obviously 262,000 there. Fantastic stuff. The Storm Throne. I think we've got one more episode in it, huh? I think there is one more episode, and that is making sure the High Kingdoms belong to the Storm. That the religion of the Storm is powerful. We will be coming back to this save game, though, so don't fear. There, there are other adventures I have planned for other people. I'll talk about that more tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We are almost there. Still got to reform this religion, though. I can't believe that this is the thing that's taken us all this goddamn time, huh? I was kind of hoping we'd have got that done earlier, but it was a little harder than expected. Big shout out to the insane top tier level patrons who have made this series possible, who have appeared in this series multiple times. A big thank you to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Blurry Bunny, Sidini, Conspire T, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Danny Good, Donald, Eric B, Escape, Facunda Vasquez, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Haydog, Jimbo, Jocelyn, Dean, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Necrofilm, Nathan Flores, Pelvis Presley, Surthal the Swede, Sorogon, Toby Cruz, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Backus Backus, and Zazzy7011. Thank you all for your support at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon. Thank you for keeping the channel possible and alive. And a big shout, of course, to Asaro, Adam Person, Akari, Andrew Wilson, Arachnid44, Betamus Max, Sedini, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Duncan217, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK Run, Genji Zerko, Gray, Haji Damar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, I see the Great, Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yuan DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Johnny No, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Llewellyn Thomas, Lemon Stark, Matthew, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gannamore, Nixie, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Smirtworm, The Insane Pickle, Venom Meow, Will Wade, Wolfie, Zico, and Mr. Smug, who has since patronized since uh, I, I started this episode. So thank you very much to all of those guys and Mr. Smug.